from an identity thief trying to clean out a bank. I'm already, that, I'm already drugged up, though. I understand, I understand. I understand. But that math is more than enough. Brenda, you're under arrest. Uh, you're being charged with misdemeanor, obstruction, felony, identity theft, felony. To a mastermind of fraud. And then what's happened in your account since? You came here to get $10,000. I don't know about that. See, what I know- I'm saying, yeah, what did today, you come here today? today? Yeah, today. So how did your account go from 30 bucks to $10,000? Here we'll dive into the shadowy where dumb scammers realize they've been caught. Do you want to see more true crime and exciting videos? Dive into our other channels for gripping documentaries and police altercations. Please let us know in the comments what type of videos you want from us. Starting with the woman whose innocent act puts all actresses to shame, until the truth unravels and flips her world upside down. Luckily, it'll only be forgery in the third degree. Yeah. Forgery? How, how would it be That's forgery? A fake check. You can't deposit it. You can't check. charge me with forgery. I didn't make that check. On the 16th of June, 2023, the officers received a report about a woman named Lily doing something unusual at Cinevis Bank in Georgia. After their arrival, the officers swiftly approached Lily and gathered vital information to understand the situation. They told us that that check was not written to her. Okay, so that's... Hmm? What was going on? Um, looks like it might have been a fake check. You know anything about that? Um, no, because it was mailed to me on um, for some business that I did online. Why are you shaking so bad? Because I'm police. I mean, okay. I'm looking like what's going on. Okay, just bear with us. Let him look at those, okay? What's going on, Mr. Hayes? Um, that check was mailed to me for um an online store that I was doing for K Pops, and um, it was supposed to be for on um, shopping, but that's all I know. Are you guys arresting me? Why are you arresting me? Why am I being arrested? Why am I being arrested? I'll explain to you in a minute. Can, can you please not arrest me? I don't, I don't understand. I'm sorry, just a second. Okay, I'm going to lock them so they don't tighten on you. I'm getting arrested for a check that was mailed to me for a payment. Yep. Why is that? Can you, can you... No, it's because you're okay. Wait, what was that? You're okay. What's your name? I'm really not. You can yeah. check my stuff. I don't have any information on you. I'm not definitely. <laughs> So, I'm gonna read you something, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question is You can if you don't want a lawyer now or and agree to talk to us. You can at any time change your mind and ask for a lawyer to stop talking to us. Do you understand these rights as I fire them to you? No, sir. I'm, I'm innocent, and I really don't want to go to jail. Well, then you're going to jail. But I, I want to know who dropped you off up here. And I want to know what car it is. And that's going to be in your best interest. No, my boyfriend's in the car with me. He didn't drop me off. Okay, anywhere. which car? It's a blue sedan. It's a Chevrolet. Blue sedan, a Chevrolet. Can I call my boyfriend, please? Okay. No, no, no. Is it sitting out in the parking lot? Uh, he should be here. I don't see why he wouldn't. What's his name? Okay. Well, normally the way that these things work is, yeah, I mean, this is just for your interest. I've read your brand and you decided not to talk to me. So, I mean, at this point, anything you say is not going to be used. Um, but it's also not going to help you at any point. But normally the way that these things work is you're approached by somebody who says, hey, I just need you to go in, deposit this check. You get this much of it, I get the rest of it. 
Do what? And then you're just okay. Thank whoever you. it is that brought you up here together. Just Thank you. Park them off and then they get off scot free. And they're really the ones who are doing all of this. There's no one doing anything. Okay. Like a check was mailed to me in my name. Right. I can call my boyfriend and he'll be. What's able. his name? His name is Greg. What's Greg's last name? I don't know his last name. And he's your boyfriend. I've been dating for like only a couple weeks now. I had them take me somewhere. Oh. Was I going to for a ride? Can I guess mean, you have no, blue we're done with that. The officers conducted a thorough search to clear their doubts and decided to take precautions before things got out of hand. You got anything on here that can't go into the jail? Drugs, weapons? Any marijuana? No. Mm. Why I said is you have an odor of marijuana. Personally. Yeah. Who is this? Like marijuana. Yeah. Who's been on the phone this whole time? I was on the phone with him when you guys came in here. That's why yeah. I said, like, can so I call him? So he's already driven phone? away. Mm -hmm. He hasn't frozen off. What's the phone number for you, Miss Manning? Well, I was calling him as I was walking in. It says can nine I call minutes. Can I please? No. I already told you now. Yeah, that's how long we've been no. here. You're going to jail. Luckily, it'll only be forgery in the third degree. Forgery? How How would it be forgery? It's a fake check. You can't deposit You can't checks. charge me with forgery. I didn't make that check. You mm -hmm. tried to deposit it in your I name. didn't try to deposit anything. I tried to cash the check. Yeah. That's, it's not illegal to try to cash the check. What's well, illegal I, is for people to write bad checks. I would recommend checks. that you not make any What's other... What's illegal is for people to write oh. bad checks, not for me to try to cash a check. Okay. Well, man, Miss Manning, you're wrong because I guarantee you if I do some digging, you don't have an online store. Who don't have an online store? Yeah. Would you like Would you like to check it out? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, we'll open my phone. I just turned it off. Okay. You just told me to turn it off. All your money's going back in this front pocket. What's have the, you heard of G Rich Clothing? What's have the passcode you for your phone? K Posh? I'm sorry. What's the passcode for your phone? I'm not giving you the passcode okay. to my phone, sir. Why right. would I give you my password to my phone? Because that guy well, was on the phone with you the whole time. For it. A search warrant for my phone? Because yes, you were on the phone with somebody the entire time. And you just told us that it was the same person that brought you. And here. you told me that you've got a website, so the website would contain evidence of this. So. It's not on How'd the phone. person get in touch with you about this? <laughs> the person that sent you? As long as you have reason to have them, then it's not that is big of an issue. We just have to know whose they are. Especially in this situation when you're already getting arrested for a forgery offense. I must really be bored for a thousand dollar check. Well, Miss Manning, doesn't matter whether it's a thousand dollars or a hundred dollars. Whatever. Now I'm out of my merchandise and I'm I'm going to jail. Oh. There's nothing in here. It smells like it, but there's nothing in it. Uh, that's unfortunate because it's the Jamaican oil, like I said. Right. Come on with us, Miss Manning. Before you go out, uh, while you solve this other game on the side, just to clear it correctly. Well, you did search me. You got my car if you want to lean out. You're not going to search me. You're an officer. That's what I just said. So, thank you. She can search me. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. You got anything on your ear about? No. Nothing's going to hurt me? No. Can you come right here and lean against that table? There. Oh, sorry, babe. Hey, Jake. Hey, uh, so the key for I mean, he's probably still outside waiting for him. Y'all just assuming. We didn't say that he wasn't. We're no, still going to look. We have to go outside like anyway. Assuming. 
But that's crazy so because you had five preppers come in the same bank and cash hey, a thousand dollars check, and y'all didn't question them crackers not one screaming. time. Quit screaming. Y'all didn't y'all didn't question them crackers not one time. Each one of them came Let's in here with five and ten thousand dollars check, but because I came in here with a thousand dollar check, I'm doing fraud. Come on, like get the f out of here. Hey, can I pull my clothing store up too? Since he said I don't have that, we'll give him that or give you that opportunity just a second, or if he will. Thank you. To your right. Eventually, the situation became a labyrinth of uncertainty when Lily provided more information. So while we're here. I'll stand next to you, but whose who's numbers do you need? I don't, I don't have my contact tip. Yeah, I do have it. Um, there's Lily. Ellie, Ellie. Shay. Your whole purse is going with you though. And that's where the money is. So whether the jail lets you have it or not, that's up to them. But that everything that you had in there is back in there with us. Yep. What do you mean? What, where do you live? Lot, the back parking lot? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, y'all gonna try to arrest him too? Because he brought me to the bank. If he's part of it, that's what part of that search warrant is. Part of it. That's why there's a search warrant on your phone. That's what he's gonna get is a search warrant on your phone. If he goes through and he finds the website and he finds where your check was sent and all that kind of stuff and it looks fraud fraudulent, then your this charge still sticks. If not, when you have a court date, then it'll be dropped. As of right now, you look guilty. That's where I'm He's the one that looked at all of it, but he declared that. He'll explain it to you. Hold on. This is his case. Can I get a couple of phone numbers out of her phone before you take it? I don't want you to know my parents though. They could. That's an option. Back up. I ain't scared of you. I guarantee you, if you ain't had your uniform on your best day, get in the ring with me. I'm a I'm a cold boxer. I why? I had you crying to your mama. Are you threatening me? No. I said outside are, of your Do you uniform. really want to keep stacking charges? Does your face not work? What's no. the what is it? Wait. One, two, two, five. I can't hear the last part. Two, five again. Damn. I'll answer that, answer that. Oh, I'm not answering that right now. One, two, two, five, two, five. Are they the same? Which day is it? 
the other one. That twin? Uh, that is a um, I'm twin. Like I had and then the number twenty. Twenty. Yeah. I thought you said twin. Okay, well that's what this bottom one is. Okay, and then put Jasmine, my sister. I mean, my sister name, Jasmine. Oh yeah. I smell like marijuana. I smell like marijuana. Your purse smells like marijuana. Or your wallet smells like marijuana. How is that possible? It smells like oil. I don't know. It does smell like marijuana. I know the difference between oil and marijuana, homegirl. It smells like marijuana. But there's nothing in there, so it's not like you can be charged with it. With very few options at hand, the officers had to take some strict measures. The you trying to lock him up? Why would I tell you his name and you trying to lock him up? Alright, hold on one second. Leader! That's good. Huh? No, I gave him the case number. I gave oh. you the phone number. It's not from Puff I showed you. You watched me as I put it in there. That's fine, but the longer he has, I mean, the longer that it takes him to get that, the longer you are without your phone. Just so you know. Well, that's fine. Okay. No, I mean, they can't hold me without my phone, right? Hold, what do you mean? They can't hold me without my phone. No, I mean, I don't, it just depends on if you've had previous charges and that kind of stuff. That doesn't depend on your phone. Hang on one second, we'll start going. What's your phone number? Two four. I can get a signature bond. I don't know. I don't know. See, we don't really know any of that stuff. That's all with the the jail. So once we get there, no, I don't think so. As long as you haven't had another one. Hold on, I'm about to look. It depends on if you've had another one or not. Have you been charged for it before? No. No, it shouldn't be. You're pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> I tried to be, but you coming out hot with me. No, because, like, I honestly, like, I'm literally legit. Like, I'm not shitting you. Like, regardless of what he's feeling, like. Okay. Right, hold on one second. 5A to 2 six. Central on en route to 600 with Manning, starting mileage 110-888.
Okay, the only charge you have is the third degree, right? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure before I submit this ADR. In the end, Lily finds herself in a very critical situation, unable to escape the consequences of her actions. However, you should be able to OR bond out how, if you haven't had any pat. I don't know what your past is, so depending on that, you should be able to get out tonight and then you'll get a court date. And we'll get that when we get in there. And once you have that court date, you can plea whatever you need to plea, give whatever receipts you need to give, and anything that you have that faces you as innocent. Okay? Yeah. Forgery offenses or just felonies like that. So like I just looked it up and it says shall be punished with a felony or confinement. So I think that's just how they're written. I don't we enforce the laws, we don't make what they're considered. At five o'clock? Where are they? Do you not have custody? No. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see it from where you are. It says a person who commits the offense of forgery in the third degree shall be guilty of a felony and upon convention thereof shall be punished by imprisonment for not. Huh? That's what I'm saying. Right now, you're just arrested. Therefore, you still have a court date. And if that court date declares that, yeah, you're guilty, then that's when you're facing the actual stuck-to-your-record felony and or imprint, like and confinement. As of right now, you're just looking at a couple inconvenient hours, and you're going to get out and get time to collect everything you need to collect to prove your innocence, okay? If you truly are innocent, then just get everything that needs to show you that. Talk to whoever needs to say that you are innocent. I'm just telling you, this arrest is based off of the facts and circumstances that were presented to the, 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 presented to the other officer to where he could declare that you were a guilty party in the moment. Damn, my car's a mess. Got it. Put it up, blue door. Yeah, it'll, it'll give you the option and I'll tell them where it's at. Okay. I don't know if they hold on to it for you, but I know that you get it when you use the phone. Lily was charged with forging checks. Busted and facing the law. Watch as the next suspect realizes that deceiving the cops is a game they can't win. Okay, so I'm going to ask you real, real clear. Is this you? Yeah. 100%? Yeah. And you have an ID that says this is you? Yeah. On the 6th of February, 2023, the Georgia police officers responded to a call about the suspicious behavior of a woman named Brenda. Upon reaching the location, the officers approached Brenda with their concerns, but her dubious behavior raised red flags. I got that to Lena to raise that tooth out. The what? I got that? It got stuck in the tooth. Okay. That's all. All right. Um, do me a favor. Will you step out for me real quick? Sure. 
Yeah, make sure you put your car in park. Yeah, well, um, we're not sure yet. Uh, you're trying to cash a check or something, is that right? No, I was trying to withdraw from my account. Withdraw from my account? Okay, is it your account? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, they got, they, maybe they're confused, but they're they're acting like they think that it may be uh, somebody else's account. No, it's my account, too. Okay. You have an ID with you? They got my ID. Okay. You have anything that with your name on it here in your, yeah. in your, in your purse? Sure Okay, what well, about anything else in your purse? Anything with an ID on it? Uh, no. Okay. There. Okay, so I'm going to ask you real, real clear. Is this you? Yes. 100%? Yes. And you have an ID that says this is you? Yes. Okay. Hi. This is um, the ID that she presented for Miss Angela, which is our client. I gave her a call. She is in Kentucky currently. She's filed a police report. Her car was broken into the first stolen and uh, all that as well. I mean, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying they called us. Because... My faith is full and said I did that. Uh, my wisdom is taken out. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, my, I was going about to go in and get my stuff. Okay, well, do me a favor. Just back right over there for me. Back up? Yeah, just back right over there for me. To the side of it. Okay. Side of it. okay, hang tight right there for me. Good buzz, right? Copy of Kentucky tag. She was trying to get information from her account and draw money from it. Like, what type of information? How much was the balance in there? Okay. And then try to withdraw funds. Can you give me the actual Angela's phone number? So why don't, you, why don't you come in with me? That way we get this squared away. Grab your purse or whatever you need. Lock your window. You already went to the pocket. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I was about to go in there anyway. Like, like I don't understand what the problem is. Just... Well, I, I, I'm trying to explain to you that they're, they're just being extra precautious because right. they said that, you know, that there's a person, there's somebody that has a stolen, uh, no, stolen no, or lost. No, I lost my car. Okay. So you reported it lost. Yeah. What are y'all doing? I reported my car lost, and I found it. That's all it was. And I was coming from some people. What's your name? Look, Angela. Uh, what's the address? I moved from the address But what is this? Um, I think it's like 210 or something. 210, uh, 1110, uh, 10, uh, 10 something. What's your name? Angela. You're my friend. My you, friend. you understand our concern, though. You're yeah, kind of kind of a little weird with the responses. Well, I get it. I, get like, it. I just got my witness teeth out. It's just, I ain't got time for my messed up. <laughs> it hurt. I had my wisdom too, not, too so I'm trying to cash on there, it's not mine. I don't need to go to jail because I got to go to my kids. Well, nobody needs to go to jail unless they deserve to go to jail. That's why we're right. trying to figure it out. If you're a victim of your own misunderstanding with reporting, whatever, that's one thing. Um, if you just forgot, don't yeah, leave like, the old address, all that kind of stuff. I'm not trying to hit me up. However, it's an it old, old address. I just recently moved, like, okay. about a year ago. Hey, Daddy. Copy a number. I'll call in for a patch. Uh, just to make you 100% clear, we're going to we have to figure this out before we can let you and everybody else yeah, do, go, go about their business. But if you aren't the person that you tell us you are and you continue to tell us that, that's going to be another charge. Okay, I understand. You understand that too. I just want to make sure that you're completely aware that if you are being deceptive in any way, I understand you keep digging yourself a hole if that's the case. I understand that my mouth just hurt me. Sir. Okay. In the meantime, the officers collected additional information to reveal the mask of truth, but Brenda continued with her game of lies. Hi, officer. Hey, good morning. Hey, just for the record, um, I want to go over a few things with you just to confirm your identity. 
Can you spell your uh can you spell your first name for me? A N G E L A. And can you spell your middle name? And so once again, you were just here trying to withdraw money. Yeah, trying to withdraw money. How much were you trying to withdraw? Uh seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty, okay. That I was planning on putting a down payment on on our first thing. Okay. But I probably got my PNC account mixed up with this. Did I ask him I'm sorry, account? say that again. I have a PNC account. Okay. And I also have this, and I probably got the two mixed up. Okay. Mixed up as in? Like money wise. That's why I asked him how had much. more money there than here? Yeah. Okay. okay that's well, that's why, not why we're here. We didn't, yeah. we, they didn't, they didn't, you know. The red flag wasn't because there wasn't enough money in the account. Right. It was. I understand that. I'm not going to do no s. Okay. Lexington, Kentucky, 40503. And the last thing is, can you tell me your social? I'll tell you, let's walk out here with the officers. Just let them continue their business and walk out here for a second. I did. I'm in comfortable mode, but I just got to keep that. Okay. I gotta fucking move my car so that thing can get out of their way. Yeah, you just walk over here and make sure it's right. Um, have, has Fifth Third Bank explained to you everything that's going on? Well, they just called me and said, was, where was I located? I was in Lexington, Kentucky, and then they said, you know, somebody's presenting, uh, I guess, the car trying to steer in the drive through and I guess she goes, I guess you can't be in the drive through if that's the case. And I told them that I said, yeah, I'll try to. My car was broken into, my purse was stolen, and my cars were stolen, my driver's license, and all that. And I've made a report in Lexington, Kentucky. Are you don't have anything else in your purse with your name on it. No, just my cigarette. That's it? Okay. You think in the car? Huh? You think in the car? I can go there. I got a couple of more cars. My, uh, my uh, insurance. Insurance. But you said the car is not in your name. No, my health insurance, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's walk over there and get that real quick. For the record, you have you given anybody permission to use your identity? No. Would you like to press charges uh, for identity theft and financial transaction card fraud? Yes. Can I sit down? Yeah, sure. Oh. So, if we if we're able to get a rapid ID over here, oh, it's rapid ID. You know what that is? Yes. Rapid ID. Um, it's a little device where you put your finger in into into it and read your fingerprint. Is your fingerprint going to come back to to you as well? Okay. I really am just trying I mean, just in case there's something else going on here. Because like I said, you know, I've been doing this for 17 years. I get it. If something's going on that, that you don't want us to know about, but if there if there isn't, no big deal. I'll be the first to apologize. But if there is, I'm just trying to get you to help yourself out by by telling us the truth, so we don't so you don't get hemmed up on further charges. Right. I'm, yeah. Okay. All right. So. How old are you? Okay, so that, I'm already that, I'm already drugged up though. I understand. I understand. But that math isn't working out. Uh, yes, it is. No, yes, it is. No, it is. No, I'll be math. fifty. I'll be fifty six. Okay. Well, I'm very sorry to say that I'm, math. That math. I'm ain't. saying I'm already like half out of it, Luke. I get it, but that's also and goes back to what I was saying. Is you were oper uh, okay. you're operating a vehicle, and if you're saying that you okay. were technically DUI and drugs, can, you're admitting the DUI okay. drugs. Then well, also, no, right? I mean, well, no, I'm since I've been sitting, it, I have. Okay. It just, it just keeps in. Okay. Well. <laughs> I don't want to go to jail. I got. I know you don't want to go to jail, but here, okay, look. I can have someone whatever, to pick up the whatever car. You, whatever your name is, look at me. Look at me. Right, look right by him. I'm taking the glass off. My so, name. Okay. Math isn't working out. A lot of this other stuff isn't working out. So why don't you just tell me who you are and what's going on? I, I, look, I'm not some young guy who's trying to hem somebody up. I'm trying to help you. But if you keep lying to me, I'm going to have no choice but to, to 
take care of business, okay? I can see there's something you want to say. And I've been really cool with you, okay? We know more than, than what we're letting on, okay? That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm just, you know, I'm doing all the usual things. You're just not answering all the right questions correctly. However, sensing the gravity of the situation, the officers moved with their calculative methods, but were unable to solve the puzzle. We've got somebody uh, stopped, detained right now at a bank here in Georgia, attempting to use her identity. So I'm trying to get in contact with the, uh, the detective handling the case, and I've got the case number here. Can't believe that it's like off the eight Well, I, I was kind of, I was kind of hoping you'd, you know. I'm like, either way, you still gonna, either way, you still gonna lock me up, right? Why? Well, right. I, it's gonna be up to the gentleman over there, but I'm, I'm, I'm the one that's been doing this for a good minute. He's, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just trust me. I'm all try, I'm trying to help you, not. Like, you still gonna lock me up? Yourself right? Well, I mean, I don't know. Why would I lock you up? Okay. I know times are tough, and I don't know what's going on with you. I, like, I'm not going to sit here and try to assume anything. Have but you, I, I, you can go ahead. So, do you want to you want to talk, or do you want to remain silent? I can't hear you. I'm sorry. You have to speak up. Oh. You don't know. Uh, at this time, don't know. I've got a supervisor coming with a rapid ID. It's a portable fingerprint thing. So what can I call you? What's your real name? You don't want to tell me your real name? We're going to have to find out eventually. You all right? Or are you just contemplating things? Okay. Well, what did you take so I can tell the EMTs what you took? Ten Percocet. How long ago did you take those? What's that? Thirty minutes ago. Thirty minutes ago. You normally take ten. No, I just told you I had my wisdom teeth out yesterday. They gave me thirteen. Right, it's clear. I'll start engine two. Okay. Do you need to be checked out? You want me to let EMTs check you out? Is that a yes? Okay. We start a signal for our location. The subject claims she took about 10 Percocet. 10, I didn't take 10. 30 minutes ago. I took You told me 10. I said Perk 10. Perk 10? Okay. Yeah, Perk 10. I don't know if I'm allergic to it or not. Well, Correction on the number of Percocets. She took a Percocet and she called it a Perk 10, so I assumed it was 10. <laughs> I really don't feel good. I'm shaking. Okay, well. Well, if you can't breathe, you need to put the cigarette down. I did you a favor by letting you smoke. If you can't breathe, you shouldn't be smoking. It's just that simple. I understand that. That makes no sense. All right. Why don't you go ahead and give me your real name, Deborah? Okay. They're going to need to go to the hospital, too. I understand. You're not going to get out of the hospital or out of jail without them knowing who you are, so you might as well just go ahead. What's that? Brenda? The young lady is, uh, she's going to end up being with us because of something going on here at the bank, but she, uh, so her chest hurts because she took a Percocet a little while ago. Okay. And, uh, I'm shaking. She's shaking. Of course, she's obviously shaking because she's going to end up with us. Yeah. No, no, I have to ask me she has, she had a wisdom teeth out. Is that correct? Is that real? That's real? Okay, so she had a wisdom teeth out. When did you have your wisdom taken out? Yesterday. Yesterday? 
Sunday? Down there. Well, Friday. Soon the truth came to light, and Brenda faced the consequences of her misdeeds. Got some addiction issues up there. Yeah. More, than just, more than you know, meth? I guess so. Yeah. yeah. That's what I asked. Yeah, yeah. So, All right, let's make it. She hadn't really, like I said, admitted any of that, but the, I've been sitting here talking to her, trying to get her to loose yeah, it Just out. talk with us a little bit, you know, so. All right, Brenda, you're under arrest. Uh, you're being charged with misdemeanor, obstruction, felony, identity theft, felony, financial transaction card fraud. We're towing the car, taking a search warrant on the car, and that's why we're going to be other charges. I've already notified Lexington, Kentucky, okay? So you might have charges coming out of Kentucky, so. I'm saying, I don't understand what the car, I just bought, used my friend's car. All right, let's go. Am I going to that? Yep. Can I get my jacket? She was asking about leaving this vehicle here. Do you want to ask her permission to leave it here? No, we're going to hold on and get the search warrant. Okay. The, the victim's stuff was stolen in the entering auto. I talked to the detective on Kentucky. They go up and down, breaking into cars and shit. So the victim told me her entire purse and stuff like, was stolen. So. so the car was stolen too? No, 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 no. How about the victim's car broken into, entire purse stolen. I got you. I'm trying to see if there's other stolen property in this car. Okay. Well, if I break it in the car, I got to Leave your jackets in here. I want to take my stuff with me. You're not taking your stuff with you. Okay, but y'all about to impound my yeah, car. Leave your stuff here. Okay, can I take my jackets to leave? Oh, we'll take one of them. All right, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> Ow. I was just making sure that I could get a finger in there. They're too tight. So keep your knuckles together like this. Keep your hands knuckled together. It's a large spec. What's his first name? Cody. 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 What was the name of my mama's dog? Burns. Stokes. I'm going to show my six five and work out. What? Today? Yeah. I'm calling bullshit. Before all this happens. <laughs> oh. You should have. You know where we are. What you gonna move this to about six o'clock too? Well, if you're going through all that effort, you probably will. Then. Listen, I flex for felonies. I flex okay. for felonies. <laughs> Let's go. That's what he calls it. Flex for felonies. Flex for felonies. Yeah, boys. Have fun. Later. Yeah. Well, that's good. We're going over to my car back here. Hey, where's the car key at? In there. He said, she said it's in the car. Yeah. Brenda was charged with forgery, identity fraud, financial transaction card theft, theft by receiving stolen property, and giving false information to a law enforcement officer. Transitioning from hopeful gain to legal pain, watch this individual's poorly thought out scheme to cash an illicit check and its unavoidable outcomes. What did you, what were you going to get in return for that? I didn't want that. I, I just told him. I don't know. I, I didn't know what they was doing. Didn't I not say that? I, we didn't know what was going on. He came at us. I was at the school, sir. That's what I'm telling you. I don't steal. I don't, I'm an honest working man. I don't have time for this. On the 14th of June, 2023, Illinois police officers were notified about a man named Columbia engaged in a suspicious act at a bank. The officers made contact with the suspect to understand the situation better. Then, wasting no time, the officers moved with their legal procedure. Why are you dropping that? Pick that up. You just had it on. Let me see your IDs. Well, I got my, she got my ID at the bank. Okay, let me see your ID. All right, my thing is this, dude. I'm gonna tell let you me the see truth. your ID. Sir, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Dude in the car gave us a, a check. He gave me the thing. He just drove off. Where's he at? I don't know. But I wasn't finna do this, sir. I wasn't. He took off Five. somewhere. I don't know where this he went to. He went to where gave it to. I didn't want to do Can that. Can you stop for a second? I want to tell him, I didn't care. It's one of those where they, uh, they were dropped off. Probably yeah. a Hyundai Genesis SUV in the area. I didn't even get my stuff. They walked over here and he took off. That's kind of bad. This cat, man, got us in trouble. I, I gotta go to work. He either got me in trouble. Do you place. live around here? No, I live in Peoria. He the one that said, he, he said, huh? Yeah, yeah. Did, yeah. did the guy drive you down yeah, here? Yeah, he Peoria? drove me down said we was gonna make some money. And next thing I know, Next thing so I know, they got your ID at the bank. Yeah, but I wasn't trying to catch. I thought it was. I thought it was for real, sir. I got to go to work. I'm not down here to start trouble. Okay, calm down. 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 Calm down.
Which way did the guy take I, off? I don't know. He got yeah. my bag and stuff in his car. I need to get my bag. What kind of car is he in? Yeah, like a, the, yeah. The car, the car yeah he won't come back. back. What kind of car what kind is of car it? You mean, right? The same little car, little small car. Little small car. Like that white car, right? Like that little white car. Boom, my white bag is. Yeah, my bag is in it. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Yeah, he the one that gave it to us. We were, we didn't even want to do that. Well, calm down. He talking about going there and cash it. He said. Nothing on that car. I got no reason to lie. All right. I'm going to read you this real quick because okay. I know what's going on. I did. Sir. Stop. Stop. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have one present while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand what I've read to you? Yes. Okay. Do you understand what I've read to you? I understand, sir. Excuse me. Well, you're with them. Listen, listen, listen. Before you go in to telling me a big story, I'm going to tell you what happened. Okay. And you tell me if this is right or not. All right, no problem. Guy finds you in Peoria. Yeah. He says, listen, listen. And he says, I got these checks. Okay. I'm going to drive you down to Bloomington. You okay. cash the checks, okay. and then you get to keep a portion of the money. Is that is that what he said? He he said. Is that what yes. he said? No, no. I'm going to tell you. Is that what he said I, to you? I can I just tell you the truth, sir. You can, but I already know what's going Listen on. Listen to me. I was at the store. He asked me that I want to make that I want to work. I'm not out here to start. Something. What did he ask you if he, you wanted to work? He asked me, some of you, we going to make some money. He told me and him that we're going to make some money. And he said something about a job or something. That's how he said it. I was on my way to work, sir. I'm on my way to work now. So you agreed to get in his car and drive all the way? I didn't know that's what they was doing. He said, stop. Me didn't. Stop. Did he agree to pay you? Yeah. You agreed to go cash a check and get paid. I didn't know I was getting the check, sir. I had no clue that I was So when he gave you the check and said, go into this bank and cash it, Mm -hmm. you didn't think anything of it? No, he said, the way he put it, he, he came at us. He came at us. He said, well, uh, make it, he, so he, put, he, he pulled us out in the car. Come on, y'all can go make some money. He had all these checks. So in what the did, okay, so he had all the checks. Mm-hmm. And then what did he say? How were you going to make money? What did he, he said ask you something about that we was going to do some subcontracting or something. Some kind of subcontracting. Okay, but when you got here to the bank and he handed you the yeah, check, I kind of looked stupid. What did then. he tell you to do? He told me to go in. He going to turn the phone on and all this. I thought it was something for him. I didn't know, sir. I don't get down like that. I don't get into the trouble. That's what I'm taking. So when he told you to go in and cash the check, what did you? What were you going to get in return for that? I didn't want it. I, I just told him. I don't know. I, I don't know what they was doing. Didn't I not say that? I, we didn't know what was going on. He came at us. I was at the school, sir. That's what I'm telling you. I don't steal. I don't, I'm an honest working man. I don't have time for this. I didn't know this was going to happen. Five. I got one by name. When you're I, I didn't know none of this was going to happen, sir. I'm on my way to work. I gotta, I'm gonna be late. I got, I'm on my way. He did me up at the store. I didn't know. Just calm down. I gotta get my bag. My bag is in this car. I gotta have my bag for work. My diabetic stuff is in there. I'm gonna be done passed out, man, if I don't have my diabetic stuff. And he didn't take off. I didn't know this was going on. So, what's your first name? My name's Columbia. Columbia. Columbia, here's the problem. You say you're on your way to work, but you got into a car with a guy and yeah. agreed to drive all the way to Bloomington. But I had no clue that he was, I thought we was going to work. I thought that's what we was doing, was going to work. He, the way he put it, we was going to work. That's what he told us. What were you going to do here? I didn't hear anything. He just said, tell him about You need to relax a little bit because this yelling some... and screaming okay. and spitting sorry, everywhere sorry, 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 is going to cause problems. Sorry. He said something about we're going to do some subcontract. Some kind of subcontract. That's what he told us. Later, more information was revealed, which made the situation more critical. Hence, they had to take strict action. Come on, man. I wasn't expecting this. I swear to you, I wasn't. He trying to call him, but he done took off. But I mean, here's... If somebody asked me to go cash a check to stop, I didn't I know. Right, I here. thought it was... I thought he was, was on something real. He come with these checks. I didn't know, sir. But I'm not, not going to go cash somebody. I mean, I'll cash my know. wife's check. I didn't know. But, I thought it had something to do with what's his name. He done took off, left my stuff in the, right. I done left my stuff in this cat's car, everything. How do you know this guy? He know him. That's his nephew, him. I guess. Okay. He picked us up at the store. Gotcha. I was at Walmart getting my stuff for work. Right. Now I can't even, can't even take my stuff home. Okay. So I'm, I done got her tied up in this.
He he was all posted up in Sydney. Huh? He, I thought he had a job. I didn't know. But if he had a job at Caterpillar, what do you want to need another job for? No, I. He said we can make cash under the table. Right. Said, right. I didn't Caterpillar know. Caterpillar pays good, man. Yes, but the thing is, I work to a, a funded company. Okay. I work to a funded company. Yeah, I, 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 I wasn't trying to come up here to do this. I don't okay. rob banks. I don't get into that. We're I don't get into robbing banks. Rob the bank or anything. No, I don't want these people to think, oh, he went in there trying to get a bunch of money. I've been saying with this cat, so okay. I don't get into that, man. I'm not here for the money. I'm right here talking right. at the main. I don't get time for this. If I knew this was going to happen, I'd have never got in the car. I swear to you, sir. I'd have never got in the car. Me and him was, I was on something else. Okay. Now my bag and now I'm stuck. I need my bag, man. My diabetic stuff is in there. My diabetic stuff is in that bag. I got all my food that I bought from the store. Right. I need my stuff. Stuff is in there. He done took off. This cat done took off. I wasn't trying to do that. I'll go apologize to them people if y'all want me to. Mm -hmm. It's no problem. This isn't my case. It's all supporters' case. I think we got enough to. Yeah, we'd say at least a temporary nine to five. Let's get them separated. Get one on one car. Get one on the other. Put one in Perry's car. Put one in my car. And then um, go down to the bank and figure out what exactly you got. Yeah, they flagged me down to the parking lot. These guys did? No, the bank. Okay. They were out in the parking lot. I got to call somebody to bomb me out. So. I'm not saying you're going to jail. I probably am, so I got to call somebody right quick. So they came down here. They said that they were in a hunting Genesis getaway car. Maybe that's the car. Maybe it's a car. But they said it was an SUV. But that's the same thing. All these are. They're all the Genesis way. is. Yeah, it's make, the higher end. Yeah. So Hyundai's, they, they make cars. They make sedans and SUVs. Right. So, um, yeah, I would say that we we don't go anywhere with them yet. But let's get them separated. Let's get them secure. Go. All right, turn around. Get you in back, right? Can I call my uh, worker? No, right now. Okay. You'll get a chance when you get the county. I'm going to need the number on my phone. Well, yeah, they'll let you do that. If okay. you need the numbers, right. just let them know and they'll, okay. they'll get you the numbers. All right, no problem. Got a bad elbow? Yeah, I, I'm going to leave school up. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. There you go. Sorry, he's my tight. Well, he's trying to do it as loose as he can. I got him on one. <coughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Is there anything on you? I need no, 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 I just got my okay, Stop oh, reaching for shit. Sorry, right sorry, now. sorry, man. You getting excited and getting nervous right. and doing all kinds of stuff from the positive problem. Sorry, sorry, man. Hey, if you're dying back, just try to take some deep breaths. Man. I'm trying, but my right. stuff is in that car, man. Okay. Well, I'm just going to tell you you're not going to get it back because he took off and he dumped you. Well, That's what they do. Peoria. Unless you recognize him when you get home eventually. I got to call him and let him know I don't do dope. I don't do none of that. He ain't going to answer your phone, his phone anymore. He's not going to talk to you anymore. Okay. Move your hands. Sorry. <laughs> My, my phone, my, my uh, uh, case thing, it's my, uh, my, uh, what's her name? That, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's all we did. That's all I got. Keys and all that. I, don't, I told you, I don't do dope, none of that. So that's all we it never is. accused you of doing dope, man. Nobody said that. But you're out here passing fake checks, and we got to handle that. Okay, sorry. Whether you knew exactly what was going on or not, sorry. unfortunately. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Move your feet, Clark. Oh, sorry. No, put it down. Oh, it's going down. Just spread, spread your feet. Oh, there you okay. go. All right, you put them in your car. Yep. Okay. All right. All right, let's walk over here. This way? Yep. Okay. Eventually, the Columbia's efforts to mislead the officers were proven futile, and he had to face the harsh reality of his situation. Okay. 
I just need to do that real bad. Yeah, Sorry. Enough. Hey, Mike, what's up? Hey, Columbia, what's going on, man? I'm good. Okay, uh, uh, I'm going to have to come pick you up, man. Okay, all right. You're going to have to listen I'm to Mike gonna... when he says don't hang out with these people. Okay. I got you, Mike. Man, dude, I mean, yeah, we gonna find out who this other guy was too. All right. Cause ain't that, that's bogus. They did you wrong, man. Listen to me, Mike. I, I was at Walmart buying my stuff. They come, why me and him pull up on me? They say, "Uh, we gonna to make some money. We got a job." So I'm assuming it was true. I didn't know. He said he would have me back. I didn't know nothing that was going on, Mike. Can I stand my right Huh? I know you you had your money for lunch. Cause yeah, I, I had my money. I was going to Walmart to get me some lunch. I was going to Walmart to get me some lunch. That's where I was going. I went over there, got me some lunch. Man, uh, my bag in his car, uh, my lunch is in his car, everything. Well, so, don't worry about your stuff, man. Don't worry about your I got to get my stuff back somehow. I don't mind. I'm going to burn up. I know, I know, but, I know but just stay just stay calm. Okay. Don't got to work through this. I got to come up there and pick you up, all right? Okay, no problem, Mike. Just take it easy in there, okay? Just... I'm gonna do what they say. I, I like this cop. He's real nice to me. He's one of the nicest ones, Mike. His name, Mike. Oh, yeah? His name, Mike. But he's good people. I'll be up here in a couple hours. Okay. All right. All right. Mike, I didn't expect this to happen, Mike. I swear to you. I, I know, man. I know, mm -hmm. so I'm, we'll talk. We're gonna talk about it. We'll figure it all out, okay? I gotta get my, I gotta have my speaker in that bag, everything. My lunch, my diabetic stuff. I'm burning up, man. I know, man. I know, man. Hey, um, what? So we'll talk. We'll talk when I get. But um, do you have my phone number so you can call my? Yeah, it's in my phone, but my phone keep acting up. I'll write it down. Do, 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 do you got to call Epic and all this type yeah, games? Yeah, I'll write down here. Do you got to uh, call Epic and all that? We'll talk about that when I pick you up. Okay. Because they okay. have some be so we'll figure it all out. They what? We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Man. Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna come get you here in a couple of hours. Okay. All right. So my number is. I, I got it written down. He got it written down. I just need some water, you know, something to drink. My mouth is dry. My diabetic thing is kicking in. I don't. You know, I'm not used yeah, to getting arrested, man. Calm. I'm not used to getting. Stay calm. I'm fine, man. Yeah, the nurses. They have a full time nursing staff here, so if we need something, they'll take care okay. of them. But he's real nice. He he never he didn't disrespect me or nothing, Mike. He was real cool with me. This is the one the good, good. good. I'm, a, I'm putting a good recommendation for him. Yeah. He's good people, man. Real good people. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad you cooperated with him. So oh, I cooperated with him. Good. I don't forget. He didn't seem to get mad that one time in his car. I was sitting there, wasn't I? Yep. I didn't even argue with him. I just, I just like to talk. That's all it is. All right. I'm just a little nervous, man, about all this. But take a good nap or something, and um, I will come in there. And, you know, all right. All right. That's cool. That's cool, Mike. Yeah. That's cool. I gotta, I gotta call in to work, Mike. You gotta let him know what's going on. I gotta get this number for Sean as soon as he let me out of these handcuffs and uh, get this number. Okay. I gotta okay. find them dudes in that car, too. I know what the car look like and everything. Hey, Mike, we'll get him taken care of, all right? Yep, we'll yes. get him taken care right. of. Have a good day, sir. Uh, you too. Yeah, Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, no Columbia was charged with deceptive practices with bad checks. Experience the stark reality as a woman's hidden crimes come to light, exposed by cops. Watch as she confronts the consequences head on in this gripping tale of revelation. Right now, you're just being detained pending an investigation. Um, you're not currently under arrest, but you are being detained, okay? On the 12th of February, 2024, the officers responded to a call following the report of a woman's dubious behavior at a credit union in Florida. Upon reaching the location, the officers were briefed about the situation. Uncertainty crawled up as they dug deeper. Apparently, they're in the branch, the branch manager's office. They're trying to prolong it. Oh. Yeah, I'm not. Hold on. Can I hang up my phone with her? Right now, you're just being detained pending an investigation. 
I'm not currently under arrest, but you are being detained. Okay. You have identification on you. It's on my neck. Which one y'all want? It wasn't me. Okay. It was probably some back office. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh. Did you need my card or anything anyway, or I'm mm. the manager? Uh, that, let me see. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a call from another manager? Yeah, because I was trying to hold on to her. Is she alone? Is this game plan? Who is she? Who else is she? I have funds already transferred to all their accounts. And then coming into the trial. But it appears that they are the two ones, like her, that they're transferring through internet banking. And then they're going to the branches and withdrawing. This morning we had her account, $10,000 was withdrawn from Jamar, and she's saying it wasn't her. And now she's here to withdraw $10,000. There was another young lady that um, was with her and left this morning, saying she had to pick up her, her child. Um, but she also withdrew money too, and they were, they have been, there's records. Okay, but as far as her, her right now, what is it that she's done right now? She uh, She's trying to withdraw the 10000 Okay, um, but she hasn't withdrawn no, anything? No, our risk and compliance department block it. Okay. Because they saw the scheme. So she's just here to withdraw. Mm -hmm. Money was deposited into her account this morning and she mm -hmm. came here to withdraw it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. From another account internally. Okay. Sir, you said I was detained, so. You're not free to leave. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to go nowhere, but I need to call my mom because this. We're not calling anybody up here. We can't call her so y'all can tell her that I'm probably finna go to jail because yeah. I don't, I, ma'am, I don't even know the story yet. Okay, that I hadn't asked you anything. I hadn't talked to anybody. I've been I'm standing saying, here with what you. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is y'all killed my brother, so I really don't feel comfortable around y'all at all. So I'd rather call my mama so we can have this discussion because I'm really like. How, how old are you? I'm, I'm grown. Okay. But I still don't feel comfortable around the police. That's your right. And I, I can't take that away from you. Right. So that means. That, said, but I'm. Uh, but me as an individual, honestly, I'm gonna treat you with the utmost respect. Okay. That's how I. Well, well I. No, ma'am. Ma'am, I, I don't. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. I don't know I'm your brother. I don't know the situation. I know but I can give you the utmost respect if you allow That's me to. That's not giving me respect because you got, how are you trying to belittle, belittle me right now? That's belittling me. How am I belittling you? Because I told you that my brother killed, uh, got killed by an officer. And I'm and telling you, I'm going to gonna give you the I'm utmost that, respect. Saying, but I'm also telling you that it's belittling me as well. How? I just told you. Well, again, I'm going to try and give you the utmost respect. What's your name? Robert? I'm Sergeant Roberts. I'm going to try and give you the utmost respect. I can I can only be as straightforward as I can. That, and and you you let me know that you're uncomfortable, I but I'm uncomfortable. but I'm gonna the give you standing over me. But I'm gonna over me. I'm gonna give you the utmost respect. I told you that, and y'all still standing over me. So, I, so I'm telling you that I'm, I'm very uncomfortable with the. What would make you feel comfortable, ma'am? Not standing over me. Well, ma'am, it's a small office. I'm just standing in the but door. You're standing over me. You can go stand over him. No, that's right. not how it works, ma'am. You don't get to dictate it that. Really, it really is. It's, it's, no. It's called freedom of speech. I know my rights. Well, you got the right to say what you want, but you don't get to dictate how things are handled. I understand what you're saying. Freedom of speech gives you the right to say whatever you want. However, it does not give you to dictate how we conduct our criminal investigation. Would you like EMS? Yes. Okay. And I also would like my mother as well. I don't care who calls her. You can call her. He can call her. The EMS can call her. But it's not. I don't feel comfortable at all. 267 dis 267 dispatch. The officers then took statements from the woman, but her attitude spoke louder than her words. Can you face me? Sir. I'm Keep. very, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very uncomfortable. It's three officers standing over me and, 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 
she's saying she's got anxiety. I killed my brother. That's I told you that. And you're smiling goodbye, but it's not funny, sir. No, it's not. No it's not smiling. fair. It's funny. It's funny to him. It's funny to him. I'm looking at him laugh every time I look at him. He's smiling. It, it appears like, that you're I'm trying not, to find something I'm not, to, I'm not to find uh, like engage you. You're you, not gonna I told get it. You exactly what it was. And I did. The I told you I killed my brother. Disrespect. So with that being said, hey, hey Miss Quintero. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but um, I'm Officer Baldwin, and I would like to talk to you okay. in reference to why I'm here, okay? But right. before I do that, I have to read you, you know, forge your rights, okay? If I'm not detained, why am I going to read your rights? No, you are detained. That's the point. You're detained. That's why I'm reading you your rights. I told you you're detained. You're not under arrest, but you are detained, okay? okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me? No. Don't. Okay. No? What, okay. what is it that you want to talk about, though, first? PD 644 teletype in line. You gonna give me a link so she can listen to you? And have yeah, I didn't know who, what am I sending it to? Is it an email address? Is it a phone number? Is it an email address? After she's in our resting phone. Yeah, folks, so. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, what's up? 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 But my, that's my personal property. I understand. That has been. So, because in law, it says that I have to accept you to search me or anything like that. It's not being searched, ma'am. I didn't ask nobody. It's not being phone. searched, ma'am. It's my phone, though. It's not it's being not, searched. It's just like your phone getting taken from you. Okay, well, I'm not under a criminal investigation right now. And I also have told this lady I didn't get no ATM withdrawals at all. So, how is that I'm on the investigation? Okay. And, and I'm well, ma'am, uh, hold up. You said out. you didn't want to talk after they read you Miranda, so I can't ask you any questions. Right. Okay. You close it over. I'm not. EMS is here to get you, uh, you get checked out. She, How are you? I'm all right. She says she's having an anxiety attack because. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll check your vitals. Okay. Your blood pressure is a little elevated, but that's to be expected. You're under, you know, emotional I arrest. Mean, I'm not mad about that. What I'm mad about is the fact that the police who kill young black innocent men mm -hmm. is standing open. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that I'm mad about. I ain't mm -hmm. mad about nothing else. Well, I don't think this is racially. It ain't racist because he black. Hi, that's racist. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that, that has anything to do with it. Okay. I understand you're upset. I'm upset because this man is standing over me. That's the only reason why I'm mad. Okay. I'm not mad by nothing else. If, I'm, if I come I'm completely out of jail, jail. take me to jail. But if I ain't, then I mean I'm gonna have a bond regardless because I ain't I ain't been in trouble in a long time. So with that being that said, has, okay. I don't really know why this man is standing behind me because he has to keep an eye. It's a whole glass door right there. He can stand out there and watch me. That he don't have to okay, stand behind me. Man, there ain't nothing else I want to talk about. Because I'm sitting up to tell them, I'm like, I'm trying to make it seem like because I'm black and I'm on the wrist, y'all ain't going to listen to nothing that I'm saying. Basically, mm -hmm. that's what you're saying. So let me get out of here. Yeah. All right. All right. It don't matter because I got a whole lot of stuff on me all the time anyway. It don't even matter. I'm going to find out everybody making you know, this, 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 you do. Let me sit on this side. Do you have a printout where you can uh, give me all the account information where the transfers were made, what account, you know? I don't really know why y'all kind of standing over me. Like, it's kind of crazy. People feel threatened when people standing over me. Excuse me. Let me pull. Yes, ma'am. Make sure so, elderly. It's coming from the elderly members account. All these funds were cross reference and my transfers going to their accounts. Okay. I'm an elderly member. Sorry. Oh, you're fine now. Ma'am, I wrote Baldwin's name, uh, last name, ID on the back as well as Robinson, and my information is on the front. Okay. 
Later, more information was revealed, making the situation a complete mess. Thus, the officers had to implement the necessary measures. Um, oh, okay. You know, I, I hate to let this girl... Yep, yeah, that's her. ...this something. Okay, yeah, now that's her. That's her. <laughs> uh, and we just got... We yeah, just got okay. ...the video of the girl that we have detained. Of Kalarn, yeah. Uh, from Kalarn. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I done gave him $5,000. You gave uh, someone five thousand dollars yes, cash. Yes, uh, my money because I'm trying to I'm trying to run a business, and I needed somebody to double it. Like if you if I don't know if you like own Facebook or anything like that, but people like they like if you send twenty five thousand, we gonna see. I mean, if you send twenty five dollars, we gonna see me twenty five thousand. Now that's just I don't know if that's fraud, and I really never even tried. Do you know that. anybody that if you gave them? Fifty dollars. It was oh, here's hundred bucks because you gave me fifty bucks. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm asking people if you. People do it. People do it every day, sir. I don't know. Who like, does it? A lot of people here, everywhere, like all over the world. I ain't even gonna lie. You've been all over the world. I ain't been all over the world, but I met a couple people. How long has he had an account with people? These are all new accounts since the, the first of February. Mm. The three, all of them. Yeah, the three of them, new accounts. Mm-hmm. Okay. Out of Apple Yard, that's where they opened it. Her account's new as well? Yeah. Her very first, all of them. Open the same day. Yes. Let me make sure. Hers, I know for sure, because I told her. Kevin is... Two, no, 131, which is the day before. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so he started the ring, huh? He was, he was, he's the leader. Hey, man. What's going on with Brought you out in the ring? Yeah. This money transfers in his account and he distributes it to her or her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then they were here this morning, both of them, to withdraw 10. They actually okay. got out from Killarn and they did withdraw at Killarn. Okay. And then they came here to withdraw and that's where we got them. How much did they get from Killarn? She got 7,000 and she got 10,000. But instead of him giving me the money back, apparently he's been taking the money and, and doing something else with it because I haven't heard of him. So I don't know. I, the first time I heard from him was just morning. You so you're you're saying you gave some guy five thousand dollars, right? And you had thirty dollars in your account, right? At what point did you end up make, having? I didn't put the five thousand on the car. I gave it to him in cash. Right. Right. I mean, it's very minimum when you charge her with bank fraud, organized scheme, and grand theft. And then what's happened in your account since you came here to get ten thousand dollars? I don't know about that. See, what I know- I'm saying, yeah, what did today, you come here today? today? Yeah, today. I so how did your account go from 30 bucks to $10,000? The man, he said he put the 10,000 on there. She's saying that it's like $40,000. That's my- How would somebody put $10,000 in your account? That's what I'm asking you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you put money on the, account, on the card. That's how many times do you think somebody breaks in a house while the people are on vacation and then puts TVs in someone's house. Never, I guess. How many times do you think a crook hacks into someone's bank account to give them money? I guess all the time. <laughs> I don't know about no bank account because I've never had nothing. You think all the time someone criminally hacks into a bank to give someone money? Yeah. This guy here, the elderly, the 84 years old, went to Quincy to file a dispute because he didn't know what was going on with his account, poor thing. Yeah, he didn't know how they got his. Yeah. I, I just, I don't know how all that money would get on me. You guys say? No. Yeah. Him, yeah, fresh mind. Let's just ask your opinion if you got a moment. For you have like 10 seconds. No, a moment for your mind. Okay. How, I'm gonna ask you this question for our here. How often do you think someone hacks into someone's bank account and deposits money? Uh, that'd be very rare. However, she continued her innocent acting, but the officers decided to move forward with a static plan to gain control over the situation. I just need a yes or no answer. I guess, yeah. Okay. Um, so what do you wanna tell me? <laughs> Ain't nothing I want to tell you because I didn't do nothing. So I'm and trying to figure out. You're, yeah. you're, you're in handcuffs. Yeah, in a I, bank I know. <laughs> she said. You're withdrawing a large amount of funds. Right. I that aren't yours. I understand. But, but, you, so, you're, but so 
it sounds like what you were telling me was you met some guy. Right. And he offered that if you gave him cash, that right. he would give you more money. And you right. think he's the one that put money in your account. Yes. Right? That's the sort of thing that, that like, he, he's trying to figure out what the who, 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 Who's this guy? See, I don't know his name. I you know, know him. You can know him as Jeff. She said Kevin. I don't know okay. Kevin. I know, a, I know him by Jeff. How'd you guys meet? Okay, so one day I was standing, um, at the, you know what, well, you, you, you have right there. I was standing at the Kearney Center, right? Mm -hmm. I was sitting at the Kearney Center. Okay. When you know what that is? I do. I think this was the first, the very first. Right here. So, the kids are in. You said the first of what? Yes. February? Yes. Okay. So, he came in and he was talking to us. It was like a couple of us who was in a group. And he was like, um, y'all trying to flip y'all money. And I was like, I was like, yeah, because I had like something going on at the time. I was trying mm -hmm. to get a business off the ground. So I was like, yeah. So he was like, um, well, all you gotta do is go, go put a um, car in the vision. So I did that. I paid for the car and everything. The Wait, $30. He, he said, you gotta do what? You gotta go get an vision card. Like an account, you gotta put yes. a vision account. And he was like, he was gonna send me the money whenever he get the money. This is what happened. Uh, there. Just, just to pause you, where, where did he say? Did he say where this money was coming from? No, he didn't. Okay. He never told so me anything. The, he was saying, he was saying that he was going to send you money for what reason to flip it? What is that? Yes, because I gave him five thousand dollars. This is cash that I gave him five thousand dollars, and he's like, I got this thing. When did you give him five thousand dollars? How about three weeks ago? What was that for? For a business that I'm trying to do. I'm doing hair. And you gave it to this random guy that you don't know? Yes. Does that make a lot of sense to It you? doesn't make any sense, okay, but I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, though. I want to I still tell you because I feel like, okay, the day I got the card, I went to the walk house with the card, right? Ever since after that, i never seen the card no more. He has the card. So whoever he has with him, they're the one that's getting the money out the ATM and stuff. It's not me. When we go, when y'all go into this investigation, you're going to mm -hmm. see I guess the cameras or whatever, that's not me. That ain't me. It's not you. No, what, about, what about today? What's going on? Today, I'm here. I'm here to pay. They right. said that doing, it was- Doing what? They said that um, it was something blocking or something like that. So I came and talked to the lady and she was like, well, we, we can't give you that amount today. Right. And and that's how I, that's why I'm here with y'all. Um, do you know anybody else that this guy reached out to? Or got some yeah, I know a couple people that he's reached out to. I can call a couple people. Okay. You know their names off the top of your head? Um, yeah. It's funny how you let them sit for a while. They start panic and then they want to talk. Yeah. She's trying to come up with some story. Okay, that'll work. But it don't. How do you normally have money? How do you make money? I work in Zaxby's and I have like my own hair salon at home. Okay. Does it sound like a legitimate way for some random guy that you barely know to deposit? Sir, at the time, I ain't even gonna lie. At the time, because of the fact that I was in a like in a bad predicament or however mm -hmm. it was, I kind of went for whatever he said at the time. But then he stole my car. Like to this day, I still don't have my car. Well, it sounds like he got you to open up the account. Right. That was the agreement. And then you gave him the card so he could utilize the account. I didn't know anything like about that, though. It sounds like you gave it to him. I didn't, I didn't give it to him. I left it in his um, car. And then he said the next morning that he was going to come back and he never showed back up. Um, okay. Will this guy have any tattoos or anything that you remember? I wouldn't even be able because he was really, really black. Okay. You got a phone number for him or anything? Or know where he stays at other than the training center? It's not, it ain't in my phone. It's the out of town number. Finally, with the officer's accurate decisions, the woman faced the consequences of her deeds. But I'm gonna, okay, listen. The little $80 right there. That's going to, that's getting impounded to. So y'all gonna take the money and put it inside the jail? No. No, it's getting it's impounded. At, all this stuff is going to tell us police department with me. So it's going to be impounded into evidence. This so is, once the evidence take over, y'all have somebody that comes and get y'all get comes and get it from the sheriff's office. I, we're not the sheriff's no, office. We're TPD. We're here. Yeah, we're TPD. Totally different. That's crazy. That's really, really crazy. Totally different. 
you can realize that like the, the situation is that the majority of what you got in your pocket money wise is ill-gotten funds from someone else which is why you you're in the cuff I didn't, I never, so that I that never, that eighty dollars like that i don't know when i tell you i'm i'm i had like something else like outside of that so i'm really not thinking that all i know that what i was what i was thinking was yesterday when the when the fraud people called me and it was like it was like a thousand dollars or something like that so I, that's why i called him and i was like i'm not gonna play with you about my money so he had like two envelopes he gave me one of the envelopes he said that that's your five thousand dollars debt so your the five thousand dollars where did it come from you saying that's you I gave him five thousand dollars. That was three weeks ago. He right. was supposed to. Yeah, five thousand. Yes, he was supposed to double it. Like I don't know if y'all on like any type of website, Facebook, Instagram, anything like that. And you got the little scam people that always pop up saying that they can, they can double your money, right? But I never went for the online thing. Only reason I went for it because he was right there in my face, visual. I don't, but I don't know him. He, we were standing at the shelter and he came up to us and he was like, well, I can help you. You know, you trying to come up, I understand. Y'all out here, y'all living bad, da, da, da. So I'm like, okay, you know, and I can call multiple people because we always standing up that day, that day. We don't know this man. We don't know him. And he, and he probably had got other people like this, but he don't know us. Like we stand in front of the shelter every single day. So he sold your dream is what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. And I ain't tripping because I know that I can take a trial or whatever, but still. Well, you know that, right? Like I said, this is not the final say so. All right. You ready? Okay. You gotta grab me, though. We're required to hold on to you. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how to hold on to you. I got you, but by our policy, you're under arrest, so uh, I'm required to hold on to you. Yeah, I just got one question. Yeah. I'm listening. If I've been so fraudulent with you, all right? Can I grab a picture? No, ma'am. Nah. I've been here long enough. Right. I got one in the bag. Y'all aren't you ready to go? Let's handcuffs. No, I'm gonna see this cigarette before I have to go in there. Yeah. Sick. Sick? Yeah. Why? I'm nauseous. I'm hungry. I'm too much right now. Okay. I know you're not I know you're not the main person. Okay. Yeah, I'm not the main person. But I'm not a person at all. You're a participant. You say a personal participant when they don't know, like, oh, but just based on what we have, it's kind of hard to argue that you didn't know. That's that's why you're going. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna buckle this up for you if you want to lean up a bit. The woman was charged with bank fraud, grand theft, and organized scheme to defraud. To unlock more thrilling crime investigations like these, hit the subscribe button.